So red is one of those difficult colors to paint. Um, it's right up there with black and white, and the third hardest color to paint is red. Um, first of all, it's just due to the nature of the paint. The red does not cover very well, so if you put a straight, straight bright red over black, it's going to darken it a whole lot, so you have to do it over white or build it up over layers. And then when it comes to highlighting, a lot of people don't know how to highlight it. They add white. Um, which just turns it pink. Uh, you can add orange as long as you add just a small amount so you don't end up turning it into orange. And it's it's just problematic. So um, up until last week or so, what I've been using to paint red is basically just hull red for the shade and then work up to uh, by adding more and more either flat red or game color gory red. Trust me, that's gory red there. And that's what I've been doing. And um, I recently did a project where I just wasn't happy with it. It wasn't ha did not have that deep, rich color that uh, I want from red. So went to the local store, picked up some new colors, and I came up with a really good recipe for painting red. Uh, the plus side of this is that it is very, very easy. The downside is you need a lot of colors just to paint red. But uh, I'm going to go over this real quick and then we'll uh, show you it in action in the rest of the video here. But uh, what I have here, all Vallejo colors, we start off, start off with, um, this is all over, over my standard black primer. Uh, starting off with black red 859 and this is just a, a base coat. So that goes all over. And then next is 926 red, this is deep red. They have a few different bottles that just say red, so make sure you're getting the right numbered one. And uh, this goes on next as a second layer, uh, covering up most of the first layer. This is not mixed. This is uh, Most of this is going to be straight out of the bottle, so then this goes. And then once this is dry, move on to Game Color Gory Red. Again, trust me, that is Gory Red. And then um, comes a little bit of mixing. Start mixing in a bit of Bloody Red. Now, depending on how bright you want your red, uh, you can mix up to like three times and work your all the way up to this straight bloody red color. Or if you want a darker, deeper red, just mix it in once and uh, go with that. And of course, this will be on just the, the tips of the, the highlights, the shades. But uh, depending on how much of this you put in and how, how much of the miniature you put it on, um, that will tell you or give you either a really dark, rich red or something a bit more bright red. And then after that's done, if you wish, um, you can use some either black or brown ink in some of the recesses. Um, if you use black, use it very sparingly, just around the edges. Do not give it an overall wash because this will, um, unless you made a really dark red, this is going to kind of mess up the shades. Uh, you're a bit safer going with the brown, but again, uh, not a whole lot. You don't want to turn the thing brown. Um, you can also, I'm not going to show you this because I don't want to confuse anybody even more, but you can also shade red by adding a little bit of purple to it. So you could theoretically do a light purple wash, but uh, if you want to experiment with that on your own, go ahead. Uh, I'm trying to keep it fairly simple here. But uh, that is the recipe I got now, and it's coming up with some very lovely looking red colors. So now let's see all these bottles in action. And here we go. I already undercoated the model with the black red color and I have found out that um, depending on how many layers of the black red you put on the, the brighter the final results will be. So I think I just did two light coats on this one but if you keep adding a couple more um, you can do that if you're planning on a brighter red. But anyway, uh, now we're going over it with the 926 Deep Red. And it's uh, going over virtually everything like normal, just keeping the original uh, dark recess undercoat color in, uh, well, the dark recesses. And um, this is not mixed with the black red. This is going straight over it, just slightly thinned so it flows well. And um, just proceeding to, uh, again, paint it all over. No mixing necessary here. Next comes the Game Color Gory Red. 
again, uh, straight out the bottle, just slightly thinned, not mixed with the previous color. So this is making it really easy. And I'm going for a, I guess a medium red on these guys. I'm not going super bright, I'm not going super dark. So this is, this is basically the base coat though. Um, so this is going uh, to be the major, the majority of the color on the figure is this gory red color. So just leaving some of that previous color in the uh, the recesses. And um, by the way, I forgot to mention, this is a brand new Malifaux figure. This is a uh, Torakage from the Ten Thunder line. Some of the new plastics, which are very extremely highly detailed, uh, which makes them extremely difficult to paint. Um, but there's lots of uh, very tiny folds on this uh, figure, which is... Uh, a little bit difficult to uh, pick out with a brush. But uh, back to the red here. Again, just uh, this is the majority base coat color, gory red. And once uh, that is dry, we move on to the next step. Now, finally, we have to do some mixing. Uh, I mixed in a, just a little bit of the bloody red in with the gory red and proceeding to do the highlights here. Uh, as always with the highlights, uh, just picking out the uh, the tops of the folds. Uh, this is the first highlight, so it goes on a fairly large amount of the areas. Um, again, the gory red is the base color, so that should be the majority color on the, on the figure. So this is, uh, it's over a lot of areas, but not completely covering the gory red. That still needs to be the, uh, the majority color. And now uh, for the second time, again, adding more bloody red to the gory red and doing another round of highlights, uh, working in a smaller and smaller area. So you can see I'm more kind of stabbing with the brush just here and there, just touching a few areas rather than brushing it uh, in big swaths all across. And finally, the last highlight using, um, I can't remember, I think this is, this is straight bloody red or almost straight bloody red. Not sure if it was a mixture. Let's call it straight bloody red. I think that's what it was. Uh, but this is the final highlight, just going on the the tips of whatever needs to be highlighted very, very subtly. Don't want to overdo this because uh, this is this is you know just add the crisp crispness to the edges. If you do too much, it just becomes another standard highlight. So this is just just the etching here. And uh, once that is done, we're almost done. And the last step is just a wash to clean up any uh, areas where the paint got where it shouldn't. Um, I'm actually using a mix of uh, brown and black ink. It's very thin. Um, again, you don't want to overdo this because you don't want to darken the red and or blacken it. To uh, If you do that, it's going to lose its richness and you don't want too much brown. Otherwise, you're going to turn it brown, of course. So um, again, just very thin, just kind of hitting it wherever the red hits another color uh, or goes into, uh, goes underneath something like the gloves or what have you, or you know, around the edges where the head meets the tunic or whatever he's wearing. But uh, that is it. We let that try and uh, paint the rest of the model and we are done. And there you have it, our three red tor torcages, torcages, excuse me. And um, again, it's a, it's a lot easier way to paint red. Uh, I'm liking it's very rich, comes out very well. It's just the downside is you need four colors minimum to paint it. So you're looking at, uh, with the Vallejo range, you're looking at about 15 bucks just to paint uh, one color. But uh, again, it's really easy. So. Um, there you go. I hope this helps uh, to 
avoid the inevitable questions in case everyone's wondering the gray dark gray areas on uh, the model is uh, uh, Vallejo German gray and then the first highlight is some game color somber gray mixed in and then very small amount and then secondly a tiny small amount of wolf's gray uh, mixed in and the, uh, the yellow areas are English uniform highlighted with some green ochre but uh, that's it. Hope this helps. Easy yet expensive way to paint red. Thanks for watching.